Actually, Jones gonna come back. He's gonna perform for us. I want to get to this next special award because I know time is getting near, and I don't want to hold the family. How many of us um, knew Assemblyman Tyrone Thompson? Woo! Say it in. If you didn't know that brother, you talk about a beautiful brother. I mean, it's it's really hard to even think about that he's no longer with us because he supported me, man. He was one of the first ones to really come at me and take me under his wing. And so to be able to honor him, I remember last year he came to my home, he called me and said, Stretch, I'm going to drop off 10K just random. You don't have to ask him for anything. Just come to my barber shop. I'm gonna give you hundred dollars for your for your barbecue. Hundred dollars for your Thanksgiving event. The only person who never had I never had to ask for a donation. He saw my event. He supported it. So he, to me, is, is one of the greatest examples of what a politician looks like. How you can still serve your community, not compromise your integrity, be a strong black man, be proud of being a black man. He was authentically authentically him. The selfie king, if he was here right now, he'd be. I'm like, I don't myself. But he was Aww. the man. And so we want to honor him with the Love and Memory Brother of the Year Award. I'm going to present it to his family who's with us. It reads Brother of the Year Award in Love and Memory, Assemblyman Tyrone Thompson, second annual 1000 Black Men Gathering. Y'all receive his family Woo! at this time. We have his sister. And his cousin, and we're gonna let them both say some words on behalf of the late great Senator Tyrone Thompson. Hey, 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 fellas, family, community. I came to this event a year ago with Assemblyman Tyrone Thompson, my cousin, my friend, my mentor, your cousin, your friend, your mentor. He was the mentor to the whole community, to all of us, to those that are older than us and those that are younger than us. One of the things that I learned from Tyrone was about our relationships. Our relationships are our currency. So when these brothers talk about how we talk to each other, how we address each other, how we have unity and all of that, one of the most important things we need to remember is how we deal with each and every person in our lives. Because Tyrone didn't care who you were. If you needed help, he would help you. If he could figure out how to move your life forward, he would do that. So as black men, black women, as a community, Y'all, let's figure out how we can unify so that we can move forward, so that we can move the entire state of Nevada, the entire community of Las Vegas forward on our terms. Amen? Amen. 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 Thank you on behalf of Assemblyman Tyrone Thompson's entire family. I just want to tell everybody, this is a big honor for us, the family, the Thompson family. Tyrone and me and the rest of my family, we grew up here in the neighborhood. We grew up here in Valley View. Um, my brother was a true leader. He had a lot of words, a lot of wisdom, inspiring young man. But just like my cousin said, he was out there to give his all for the community. He gave us all to the end to the community because he wanted us, our people, to be better, to have like what others. He didn't care who you was, color, nothing, stop Tyrone. So what I want to say to everybody, lift each other up and let's make this community better for all of us. And I want to tell everybody, thank you, and Minister Stretch, thank you from the Thompson family.